welcome back to my channel. My name is Jen. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me on YouTube. Um, today we're going to be planning for October 11th through the 17th. And I have a lot of ideas, a lot of sticker books. I have a big old stack right here. Um, and I pulled my pages out and I really want to do like black and white Halloween, maybe with some like pops of orange. But when I looked at my page, because it's Snow White, I was like, ugh. So, I went into my calendar extension pages. So, a lot of people um, will pick up the extension packs so they can change up their week if they aren't feeling like vertical or whatever that week. So, I am still proud. I think this is still vertical. It is. So I'm still going to do vertical. I'm just going to grab two of these extension pages. Oh gosh, these all have quotes on them. It's one with not a quote. Okay, so I got two extension pages here. Oh. Well, I don't want to use the currently page either. We're going to find another plain one. Here we go. Two plain extension pages. Um, I remembered uh, my Mickey Mouse pack. This is from the first release. Um, it's So it's in the, like, the primary colored design. Um, not the same release that the folder is. This is from the color block. This was the second release. But I switched all my um, planner companions around, and that one holds my Mickey Mouse extension. Uh, so these are black and white with stars and Mickey Mouses, and I think I'm going to use Mickey this week. So this will be perfect, and we're just going to take these two pages, set them aside, because I will tape them onto these pages when I am all done. So I have a lot of stuff, and I'm not sure what to use. I have a drawer full of Halloween washi, and there are some like Mickey. This is hollow with black, black and hollow, which would be fine. Um, any kind of silver or whatever foil I decide is okay, but otherwise black and white is my plan. So there's this hollow. It's got bats and Mickey heads. I also have this black one with hollow with Mickey heads and stars, which actually would go really well. So we're going to pull that, actually. Mm. I think I'm going to go with that one over this one because this one's a little bit busier. I have all these other really nice, pretty ones. But I think I'm going to try, try the hollow but this is right nearby. And I've also got some that are just like polka dot or I thought would be good, like Halloween themed. I have a drawer with my fall ones right here too, but yeah. And then I have these stamps. So I have Mickey heads and ghosts. The ghost is cute. I might use that one. Um, and there's like a mini hat and it says it's not, it's really not so scary or boo to you. I like that one. So I might use some of those. And I have... Happy Halloween, boo. Where did I get these? I think I got these at Target like really forever ago. So there's some Halloween-y designs. And so this pumpkin, I don't know if you can see, this pumpkin has like a spider web on it. And there's a spider web swirl and kind of some fancy looking things. So first and foremost, it's going to be, I want it to kind of be floral and spider webby and Mickey Mouse, I think. Uh, so I grabbed these books. So if you, I, most people probably are following Plan for the Win. <laughs> she did hers this week with black and white, um, kind of monochromatic. And I was like, oh, that would be so great for Halloween. And she had some of these and then some stickers from, I think, according to Allie, and it just looks so nice. And I was like, you have inspired my like next Halloween spread for sure. And she used, let me find the letters. She used some Mambi sticks too. She always uses Mambi sticks for the day she works. Uh, and they're black with florals. You've probably seen them. I cannot find them now in my pack. Oh, cause they're in the front. So they look like this. So I have those. I think they're too big for, for the numbers. 
Also, what did I say to do? I don't have that many ones. Okay. But, you know, I could do like October though down the side. That might be cute. Well, there's some more ones, but there's still not enough for the, all the dates. Okay, there's the O. C. These are all out of order. And there's the T's. Just put OCT here is what I'm thinking. Put those aside because I have so much stuff over here. Okay, and then I was thinking in this book, which is like bigger Mickey stickers. They're not quite Mammy stick size, but they're big. They're all big, big images. So, oh, that is cute with him hiding his eyes. Uh, I'll have to see if I can find a black and white one. I saw these, they're paper. Okay, and just decide if I want to use, oh, there's one. Oh, but it's got blue stars. I don't know if I want to do all the work to cut that off. There's another paper one. Okay, let me, let's take off a few of these, I think. Oh, shoot, I ripped it. Because I think I'm going to stamp on him. I'm hoping that'll work. I have white ink here. Um, if I could stop ripping them and I thought that might be kind of cool so it would have to be paper stickers obviously these are paper let me see what else there is paper if there's anything I know that face is like in the regular book which I have here there's Pluto the Fab Five Mini. So she also has a paper one. Oh, but it's got pink in the background. I'm trying to avoid the like color in the background. This one's nice, but I kind of want to use this hollow, not the gold. Although I'm not going to, I'm not going to set myself on that hollow because the anniversary sticker books also have gold. So we might be able to use that. There are ones with Mickey heads on them. Blue. Okay, this book's falling apart. <laughs> um, so, and there's some more gold ones. And there is that gold one with him covering his eyes. So it's cute. Yeah, so. Are there more Mickey ones? Yeah. So there's some more big Mickey heads. Oh, there's one of him covering his eyes. Perfect. I'm not going to stamp on that one, though. This one's cute too, but I don't want the foil. Uh, maybe I might grab this one of him peeking over the top. And I think I'm going to grab like one, two more of these kind of smaller Mickey heads. I'm going to stamp them up. Okay. And I'm going to do that first and make sure that works. Let me get these out of the way too. Let's do this. T. I need a C. These letters are so fun because you can use them for so many different things. And they just like work. I think they're... They're kind of like farmhouse flowers, but they work so well for so many different spreads. I've used them in a Little Mermaid, like tropical spread. I think they'll work really well with this. Let me grab a few other things I was looking at. Because this one does have like black and white spider webs or gray spider webs. There's some bats. There is a haunted house, but I guess I could change that. It's orange. It's got orange on it, so... Grab the bats out of here. There's a teeny tiny one. Okay, and I like this to do actually. Start. Okay, let me grab the. I must have peeled this off before. It doesn't feel like it was. Oh, here's a happy Halloween. That's cute. 
cute. Okay, and then there's a spider web that kind of runs along the side. Okay, and then if you're looking, this is the best year ever book. I think this came out last 2019. Yeah. It's gonna say last year, but then I remembered like 2020 was kind of you know. I guess since I've pulled almost all my other stickers, let's pull some out of here. So this says florals and functional. I remember though. It's not, yeah, there's a bunch of functional stuff in here. So let's just see what we got. And, oh, these do match these. Um, these match. Some of those. Okay, so I got some black and white florals like this. We're going to pull some of the smaller ones. And there are more of these in some of the other floral books. I just, these are the ones she was using. So we'll see where we can get with, I have like 10 sticker books here. If I cannot get <laughs> everything I need out of here, I don't know. So I might have to do some gold or hollow or something just to bring in some other, something else. We'll see though. So those are all clear. I'm not going to take this um, bunched one because I don't know if I want that yet. Okay, so there's some really great like black and white ones. So, and then there's the gold foil. Oh, this is cute. Things to do, errands, goals. They have like the florals in the background. I think I'll do things to do for the week, maybe. Oh, one of those. I like that. Okay, and then there's some smaller florals, so I probably will just leave that page open. Some of the gold and black is really sharp. That's why I'm not sure. Maybe like this one. I'm going to go with the ones that have like a thicker black border. I don't want any flower quotes because. All right, this is cute. It's like a double box. Okay, and then I found some more black and white florals, so. I'm gonna leave that page open. Yeah, and then I've got all these like, to do today, appointment, busy, laundry, blah, 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 blah. Some thicker boxes and thinner boxes. These are a little more funky than the floral one. But okay, so I see why they're functional. There's a lot more functional. I might take that one with the grid or one of the ones with the grid. These are nice notes and get it done. Some hearts. I'm going to stamp these so they can dry. Hopefully this pigment, pigment pad is still working. Okay. So if you've never used clear stamps, they just cling to the block like this. You put your ink on it and I mean, you got a stamp. It seems to still be stamping, inking. Okay, I'm a little nervous. I think I'm going to do this one first. Okay, that's cute. It's not super dark. That's okay, though. That's cute. I wish it was a little more vibrant, though. So I don't know if I'm going to go over it with my jelly roll. I'm 
trying to keep it on the wax paper. I might go over it with my jelly roll. Oh, okay. And not stamp on the other ones like I just did. However, that's super fine, and I don't know if the jelly roll will. They're cute though. They're not dark enough though. Let's try it before I go and ink. Let's try this. Well, this one's pretty much shot, so. Okay, uh, I actually don't hate that. So, I'm gonna stamp on these two. I'm gonna fill them in with some white. And then I will get back with you guys. Okay, I think I'm back with this one. Okay, so I really love how Mickey looks. Um, he's got like a little spider coming down. I cannot wait to figure out how to do this. But, um, I guess let's get work planning. So I know this is gonna go along the sidebar because they're huge and they won't fit up here. What are we gonna do for numbers? Let me think of that. So cute. And then I think we'll put the things to do here. This would be a cute blackout spread too, I think. Um, oh, I have some more spider web. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just teeny tiny ones on white background, but this is the kind of stuff I got them for. And I think one of these would be perfect down here. So these are from Sweet Quiet Design and they are um, repositionable. They're printed on repositionable removable vinyl. Oh gosh darn it. This one like folded on itself and I can't get it to unfold. I'm afraid it's not going to stick anymore. Okay. Cute. And then I like the smaller florals in this book. Here we go. Something like that. And then maybe just like a Mickey head. Cute. I do wish the black and white was thinner, but it's it'll work. Okay. So I have three going across. Where are those going to go? Maybe on top up here. I think I need to kind of do the spider, spider webs and maybe go out from there. Kind of 
I wanted to connect these two. I suppose I could. I mean, this one doesn't have to be here. Okay. The only problem with these is they're white and these are clear. Okay, I'll have to cut that, but that's okay. Oh, gosh, gosh darn it. Rip that big Mickey Mouse one. Okay. Why is it I always have like dog hair or something on the back of these? Okay, I'm gonna stick him down here. Try not to touch where the pen, I think it's dry. It's dry. Okay. I'm gonna put some flowers by him. I'll have to trim those. figure out where I want all this stuff now. I'm not sure about that one. I pulled out of the book. It wasn't pulled out to begin with. Okay. So this is super heavy designed. Let's give it a little... Mickey head in the corner. Oh, I want to do it right up against here so you can't see as easily the black line on that. Perfect. And then I'll need one of these. Mm. Might work. I don't know if I'm going to use the washing now. <laughs> All that, and I don't know if I'm going to even use it. Okay. So I got a few more Mickeys. I got that Mickey that's like hiding his eyes. Maybe here and then some bats. This is crazy. I don't know. I like it though. Okay. It's not actually Halloween yet. Thought there's nothing. I mean, you can still like have this sentiment. It's just so heavy. Okay, how about here? Okay, I feel like I need some more spider webs.
like here. Oh, you know where else I could put some in the boxes? Possibly. Yeah, that works. Okay, so I still have, I work really hard on these heads, so they're going in. There's already two over there, I think. Okay, and then I got one more that's like super, super, I just don't want those so close together. Um, maybe I don't need this one. That's really frustrating. I made too many. See, and I was gonna, I was gonna have another one. Here. Hope I don't have anything going on Sunday because there ain't no room. Uh, nope, that bat is is too crowded. But he might go okay up here. I think that might work. Uh, he's okay. Um, okay, so I have a to-do that I really liked. So. So it's not there. I have this Mickey, but I don't think I need him. Okay, I do feel like it needs some color or something, too. I'm not sure. All right, so I guess I am probably going to use the washi. It's just a question of. Am I going to use it? I'm going to put it under the sticker. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I want it. It doesn't want to rip very good for me. There we go. Mm, I don't know if I like it. So the great thing about washi is, for the most part, it's very easy to get off your page because it's paper tape and it's made to come off of paper. I do have it rip if I'm in too much of a hurry. That looks super crooked. Because it is. <laughs> I had some hollow numbers that were small enough to fit on here. This is so weird, but I love it. Okay. Um, or gold numbers. I don't know what I want. Do you ever have one of those days where you're like, I don't know what I want. Okay. I think I have all the numbers on here. So I am missing a few letters. Um, I'm going to stamp my numbers for the days on. Let me look again what day. What did I do with those pages? Well, it's actually the 11th. 
I've already lost the pages. <laughs> They're here. I just, I kind of made a bigger mess than I already had. So, yeah. Well, we're definitely going to need ones. And we're going to have to do those one at a time. We'll need 12, 13, 14, 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. Okay, so the ones that are going to be the hardest to get right are going to be, is going to be 11. So you know what I'm actually going to do is start with 12. And go from there. And I think I'm going to use this Brilliance Dewdrop ink. That silver, I think I need to throw away. Um, gosh darn it. I like open it in the package. Okay, I used this um, last week on my spread. Cute. And it's kind of like a silvery gray. Okay, let's see. Oh my gosh. Got it on my board, which is ruined because I got it on my board last week too. Okay. Luckily, these are just from like the dollar store. Oh my gosh, these barely fit. Cute. You know what? Maybe I won't make them like super straight. I probably need a couple more boxes or some bullet points because I inevitably end up listing in my planner. But I think I'm going to stop. And I can always add some stuff later. There is a lot of super functional stuff in here. Are there any strips or anything? I don't think so. But I think I have some in my colorful boxes. Look. And I can come back and add like bills that are due and things like that. There's some circles and hearts. Some little icons. There's some. Add some. Oh, you know what? I think I do actually. I think they will look good. I think it went upside down. It would have been falling off the page. Okay, and then I think one on Monday. So that's a trick I will um, tell you if you have these strips and you're not sure how, because these lines are always different thicknesses in the different planners. You can start from the bottom because this one's like a thin line because it's the bottom of the actual page. Um, you can start from a bottom one and work your way up to see if it overlaps. Or even like, even on one of these, if you start on the bottom and work your way up, like I, I started at the top because I knew, but you can see it, it reaches right here right on the bottom edge. So you can start at the bottom and work up and it will overlap if it's going to and if it's not, because these are all a little different too, because the planners are size different. They're not size different, the boxes are different because these lines are thicker or thinner sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna stop because it's super busy, super black and white, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna use to write in it yet. I feel like black is gonna disappear, so I might use orange, we'll see. Um, check back with me over on Instagram to see the after the pen and see what I do. But as always, thank you so much for joining me. Again, I used a lot of stuff in this, um, but the main ones I used were these stickers from Sweet Kawaii Design to fill in my uh, spider webs. Oh, I found my pages. This book, Best Year Ever, um, a little bit functional, but mostly the floral from this set. Now there is a book out right now that is very similar. It's not exactly the same, but it would give you the same similar florals so you could do a similar concept. Um, I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically like black and white florals. Um, I do not have that one because I have these two, and I, I think I have an extra set of these two, actually, too. Um, those, and then the, the original Mickey Mouse books. This is the one I got most of those stickers, maybe all of them out of. Um, this fun, uh, it says colorful boxes. <laughs> it's, it, it's got the wrong printing on top, so I don't know what this one's called, but they're bigger, chunkier stickers, and you can see on the front they're bigger. So that one, and then some stamps. 
Um, all the stamps I got are very old that I used. So, yeah. And then this washi is from um, Sweet Bean Plans. She has lots of fun. Mouse Fetty is what she calls it. Designs in all different colors. So, as you can see, there's like green with fall leaves, some Halloween colors. And then this one is from Exo Mama Plans, which is very similar to this. This one's like two years old. I think this one's from last year. I'm not 100% sure. These, so the one with the bats is from this year though. So you can definitely go check out their shop. That was um, Sweet Bean Plans and Exo Mama Plans if you want something like that. And that is it for me. I hope you guys have a really great week and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.